That's a big lizard. They okay. can be fatal, but they have uh, the older they get, the darker they get. But if you see that pattern, they've got a very distinctive. It's like two um, parentheses with a dot in the middle. Uh, when they're juveniles, that's really bright, and the older they get, the darker they get. So that one, that was mature, but you can still see a little bit of that pattern. And along the face, they always retain this little stripe. Yep, that is a water monster. What if it's It's a largemouth bass. It almost looks like it's flapping with the wind. What it's actually doing is it's, it's kind of doing what, what, the, uh, what maybe your dog, if you have a dog at home. Very dark complexion, which lends to it being easily radiated by the sun and warm. That said, birds like the Anhinga and this here double crested cormorant need that warming because they actually lack natural oils in their skin that keep them, that keep them, keep them dry in the water. So when they go down into the water to go dive for fish, big old web feet, they're great swimmers, what happens is they are getting completely wet. So like, you know if you've ever like held like a duck or something in the rail family, uh, they all have kind of like fat under their skin, under the feathers. They really don't have that fat. Oh. So they also do this, they're going to splay their wings out, those wings are going to get dried. Mm -hmm. And they're going to do that for an hour and a half. You see, <laughs> this one, the double crested cormorant, has a hook down beak, yeah. so it's to grab the fish, and it helps it just grab things as it's swimming. The anhinga, which we're going to see as well probably in here, has a different strategy. With an anhinga, they're spearing that fish, and when they get back on land, they're shaking their head until it comes off their spear. These are here because during Hurricane Andrew, out in Homestead, we have a had a tilapia farm. They got whacked, and the tilapia ended up in the canal system, making their way into the See what she's doing? The wings are out. What she's doing is she's just drying off after fishing. Making his way up since oh. the bend over there. Oh. Making his way down. Yeah. We're transitioning from this dry ecosystem over here of the hardwood hammock and the willow and pond apple thicket, and we're moving into the sawgrass prairie. Right now. You can see the gator has made its home on this edge water right here. And also, it's going to have an, a an area to sun fish that are in the water, but also wading birds that will land to eat the fish. And so a gator's not really going to ever stalk a wading bird, but if a wading bird gets in front of it, it will eat it. We've seen so far, we have anhinga and cormorant. So over there, you get a pretty good view of a female anhinga and a male cormorant doing their thing.
other side. He's hulking. Or inside. You and the Let hog. Let the hog hulk. Going for each other. They know what time is lunch. Yeah, they are getting pissed. Alligators can go long periods of time without food. When an alligator is full grown without food, but that's going to be a wild alligator. Out there in the Everglades, you know, sometimes they have hard times finding a meal out there, and um, yeah, they can go out to two to three years. They will feed all of the alligators in this pond, crushing bones. It looks pretty cool. It looks fluffy, but it's actually spikes. Dances around 230 pounds. Once on the back of the alligator, one stunt that made these shows very famous. That was showing everybody all 80 teeth of the alligator, 40 teeth on the top jaw, 40 teeth on the bottom jaw. Barely any filling on the skull of the alligator. And if the alligator were to start swinging these jaws around at full force, even with the jaws closed, my leg, my arm gets in the way. More than enough power to snap my leg or even my arm in half. So that no water can enter the ear canals of the alligator. And just between the ears at the center of the alligator's head, right here where I'm pointing my finger, Right under there, that's going to be where the alligator's brain is located. The alligator's brain is only around the same size as my thumbnail. Problem for an alligator, if you see an alligator, you always keep a safe distance. I want to thank you all for coming out. That's a red tongue catfish.